years and years and years ago, I did the super detail models with every wire and, um, and I burned out. I, I couldn't come up with something better than I did last time. And it just got to be too much. So then I decided to step back and focus on the basics of modeling. And now I'm trying to perfect perfect that. I still haven't built a perfect one yet, but I'm keep trying. Maybe that's the name of the game. Yeah. Just keep building. Right. Doug White from Auto Car Muse. I'm here with James Tester, and his channel is Scale Model Experiment. I like to build box stock. That's my thing. I like to take what's inside of the box as a challenge to build it the best that I can. And that's the constraint that I put on myself to not go the easy route and put aftermarket parts on it. We did this as the USACC build, and it started off with the, the Roadrunner kit, and every piece on this kit has been modified just a little bit. For instance, I cut the, the exhaust off of the rear end, carved it all out. I joined the seam here and hid the seam where the exhaust manifold comes down. Everything here was all joined together, so I separated it out carefully. Physically and visually. Yeah, yeah. The tires, I hogged the inside of the, the rim out so that I could push the tires in or out of the wheel wells so that they would all line up right along at the edge. The, the exhaust tips are drilled out because that's what everybody should do. Um, I split the bench seat down the middle because it was just one big long bench seat, so I cut it so that it would add visual interest. The battery I actually cut with a photo etch saw, but left it in place so that it's, there's a line where the bottom of the battery is so that it gives the appearance that it's sitting on that shelf. Yeah, same, same thing here with these wiper bottles. They're, they're cut, but they're still there. So it's still box stock, and I drilled out the door handles. With a tiny drill, I drilled out, and then, so they're real door handles now. That's high risk. <laughs> you know, it really is, because when you're getting into the color part of the body panel, you don't want to end up with a little valley in there. Right. Because then it's like, now I got to fill it. In hindsight, I should have cut it off and then glued it back on. <laughs> but I, w I was foolish, and I drilled holes in it and cut it out. Hey, it works. <laughs> you know, it really stands out. It's one of those things, those small things that catches your eye and that depth, that pass-through, gives good dimension to the handle. Are you using bare metal foil? It's all bare metal foil. I like to paint these, these pillars here with chrome paint because the bare metal foil seems to gather up too much width. So I paint those in chrome here. It's not visible, but it's vis once I told you about it, now you see it. Wow. And of course, panther pink with that great stripe on it. What paint did you use for the body? What brand? Um, vintage Racing Miniatures. I believe VR, VRM comes yeah. here, I think probably six, seven years ago, I bought a bottle of their paint here. That's what I used. It's two-part urethane clear and splash paints. I used probably six hours in polishing. Boy, worth every bit. I mean, no, it just, it, it's so even and glossy. It's got that great showroom look. The, but uh, but not the syrupy, over over cleared look over right not over clear but then you know these these old mopars had so many drip marks on the inside of the trunk lids sure, sure, sure. it's probably okay the decals they're kit decals kit decals so everything that was in that box is there yes yeah nothing added other than paint right glue. paint it's such a great discipline <laughs> I, I got to say, I, I don't think a lot of people can, can do that. It's a challenge, and, and I like to compete in box stock just for that reason. This guy, the Tania McLaren Senna, which stands out in print, this probably doesn't translate as well, but as you move around this car, it shifts from green to purple, right? It's like the best shift I've ever seen because it's it's not an overall kind of dull glow. Right. It's got a real vibrance to the magenta and to the green, and there's such a great contrast, but I just love moving around it. I, I credit it to the angular yeah. um, shape of the car that, that pulls it off so that you can see green, purple, green. And the Gaia Colors paint is 
wonderful paint. They made two flips, a green, purple, and a red, orange, I believe. So you're able to plan that? Were you, were you No, getting... no, I, I paint it all black and then shoot yeah. two coats of that paint right. and then clear it and you're done. And that's just the way it comes out. Right, all I did was paint it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say easily the best build I've seen in one of those Ravel Jags. Is, is that an early kit? Just the recent issue of it. Okay. Yeah, I did cheat on this one just a little bit. So it is box stock, but <laughs> I put some neodymium magnets here and okay. here so that it will actually close because the, the kit doesn't close and it tilts forward and stays there because the magnets keep it in place. Is that the weight of the magnets or the actual function of I the I think magnet? it's the functioning of the magnets. That's just how it should yeah. be. Just That's take it off if I want. <laughs> Yeah. And the wheels themselves, you put a wash on those? Yep, yep. It's a navy blue um, interior, which I thought played off the light blue. It's real, just clean. That's all I wanted to do. Boy, isn't it? So is that the most fun? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's new tooling. So it you went mean, together well, so it wasn't, you weren't constantly wasn't fighting, fighting anything. Or... Right, right. That's why I like Tamiya kits so much, is I don't have to fight them. I can just focus on the build. This is AMT's new 2021 Charger. My friend works at AMT, and so he got me an early copy about three weeks before it hit the stores. And so I was able to get it online as fast as I could. So I built it in about four weeks, box stock. Box stock, and is there clear overall over the stripes? Yeah, I, I cleared over the stripes. Big risk, you know, because I didn't have any chance to fix it if it didn't work. So. Windows look good. Did you have to polish out the glass or anything? It looks bright no. and clear. No, I, I just didn't touch it. <laughs> yeah, never touched my human hands. Yeah. Put some gloves on and place them in place. That's my secret, just don't touch it. I've done that with a lot of chrome parts on cars. You know, I noticed um, in some of the Japanese YouTubers, they will 2K clear their chrome trees. And so they're sealed, they're sealing in the shine and they can't put a fingerprint on it afterwards because you can just wipe it right off. And the Morgan. The Morgan was designed by a guy named Ala Vizel on three, Colts 3D and he designed the body and he designed the kit. And Joel from Iceman Collections in Arizona wanted to put it up for sale. So he, he contacted me and said, would you like to build a, a box art car for it? But he sent it to four of us. There was four YouTubers that he sent us all and said, you guys can compete for who's gonna be on the box. So I came in second place. Yeah. This guy named Chuck, he beat me. But that's all right. Um, I had a good time building it. Um, I, I had never, I probably wouldn't have built something like that because, you know, I like fast, you know, muscle cars and stuff. Fast four wheels, stability. Yeah, I yeah. like four wheels, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, it was, it was a fun build and it was my first all resin kit. It's 3D printed. Such good stuff. What's next? What's next? Uh, right now I'm working on an AMC Rebel Machine. Oh yeah. It's an old Johan kit. It's actually an original issue from 1970. The president of our club brought him a choice of kits from his collection and said, here, pick one of these to build on your channel. I'm borrowing the kit from him. I'll give it back to him when I'm finished. I get the YouTube, you know, for it, and he gets the finished kit, and he's over the moon. I've known him for 20 years. And That's how we are in our clubs. Yes, yes. So he's so happy to get it. I'm happy to, you know, to build something so old. I could never afford to buy a, an, an original Johan. How was the plastic? Was it hard or brittle or? No, it really, it? it really wasn't. Good. The decals were shot, yeah. so I had to use some aftermarket ones, but it, it's, but, it's a challenge because it's an old, old kit, and like the, the chassis has the exhaust molded in place, and so I actually shot the whole thing in silver, masked off all the molded in exhaust, and then painted the gloss black parts, masked those off, and then did the flat. Are you masking with tape or liquid tape? Tamiya, or? Tamiya tape. Tamiya tape. Yeah, yeah just so thin, thin strips. Great patience. In your channel, I love seeing Thank your you. builds. Thank you, I'm a fan of yours as well. Thank you. You've been to the NNL. How many years have you been coming? Uh, I think this may be my sixth. I, I took a short trip to Arizona for three years. Yeah. 
just before COVID, first year back. So I didn't miss anything. This is the best show in the country, I, I truly believe. It's hard to get it all in in a day. What's, what, what's your mode when you get here, when you come in the door? <laughs> I hit the aftermarket stuff first so that it doesn't sell out, right. then place models. I'm so glad we got to like Absolutely. hang out. Yeah. Yeah.